Hi world, this Chatty Dad One for Nuke the News Media here with you today. <clears throat> I just wanted to come on here and give a warning of heads up and keep your eye on things. What I've been seeing and hearing lately, um, I heard this on the John Moore show, but <laughs> They talked about be on the lookout for the Japanese stock market to crash. From that point on, when that happens, if that happens and when that happens, it will be 72 hours before the United States stock markets crash. And then it will have a domino effect everywhere. I went on last night and looked at the Japanese stock market and it is gone down because of the Fed's notification that they're not going to continue the QE3. And this has caused Japanese, you know, stock markets to uh kind of freak out a little bit. I tried to get on there and see what's going on today and it seems like there's no there's no real news about it. There's they're not reporting anything. Okay, we've got the false flag event that happened in Georgia. I believe that that was a false flag totally. That school shooting in Georgia. Um you know, listen to the 9 one one tapes and listen to that whole thing how it went down and you tell me that that wasn't uh, just a drill and there was another event that happened where the guy mentioned that it was a drill um, there's been all these things happening in the US and around the world especially here in the United States there have been several explosions in the past week or so there have been several shootings um, go down I don't know if they're real or not they could every one of them could be staged and they're putting it out there that it's real to try to get sympathy for gun confiscation because every one of these instances it was an AR-15 it was an AK-47 you know the one guy said I've got mental problems and I should have gone to the hospital and the gun's not stolen and but you'll find out and I you know I was tricked and this and that there's things that just do not add up things aren't adding up this chemical attack in Syria for instance the video that I put up that came from another source besides CBS News has now been taken off the air. The video is gone. Okay, and it showed the real deal. It showed what was really happening on the ground from first hand right after the attack happened. Now we have CBS News painting the picture how they want to paint it. And, uh, and all that. We've got some major problems with the weather. Major weather problems going on right now. Flooding, droughts, um, extreme, extreme weather. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, You know, and we have a little more time to prepare, but I'm afraid the time's getting short. I think 
from what I'm seeing, there is a partial media blackout right now going on from a lot of things that are going down. Um, and, you know, there's only one explanation for this kind of a um, this kind of information lockdown is because they could possibly be ready to pull the trigger on what they need to do because they have a small window of opportunity if they wait too long it's going to end up bad for them so they don't have much time left to do what they need to do to uh, make this thing more successful for them. We have Comet Ison, or Starship Ison, if you want to call it. That's an absolute mystery. Um, things with it are getting stranger all the time. I've also heard reports that they are going to stage a solar flare which in actuality they're going to set off an EMP and knock out the lights and it ain't going to really be a solar flare it's going to be an EMT attack but there's a lot of things that aren't adding up there's YouTubers truth or channels are being taken down there's people slowly being arrested and disappearing. And there's just a lot of stuff going on that just does not make sense to me at all. It doesn't make sense to a lot of people. <clears throat> there's also a report on the John Moore show that um, the guy that worked for the government said that he, he was leaving and he had had a tip also from a girl who had been dating a Russian Spetsnaz that told her that she needed to get out of the city and he was you know he cared about he cares about her that she needed to get out of the city get into the country and get to a higher elevation don't be on the coast he told her um, because, you know, some stuff's going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen, but there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now that ain't right. Stuff ain't happening. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Be on the lookout. Be on the alert be aware of what's going on because there's things that aren't right I have not been able to upload my um, FEMA buying 3.5 million rounds of ammunition I have not been able to upload it to this channel I have tried for days they will not allow it so the restrictions are getting heavier. They don't want this information out. A lot of this information they do not want it out. And they're doing everything they can to stop it. So prepare as much as you can, please. Have a plan. Ask yourself right now, what am I going to do when they're at my house? see them coming up in my yard what are my plans are you going to sit there and knock out a window and try to fight them or are you going to go ahead quietly with them or what are you going to do you need to ask yourself that question right now and talk about it with your family I've talked about it with mine hopefully with me 
Um, I'm living in a place where I'm going to have a little bit of time, maybe about a minute, before they're actually up at my door unless they stealth in here during the middle of the night and kill my dog to where I have no warning. That my family will be able to get away while I'm buying them some time. And then uh, I'll turn myself in. Or the other one. Whichever one. If not all of us, we're going to all try to get out there in the woods and hide. Got a place prepared with mylar all around it. Camouflage. They won't be able to see through the mylar. And it'll be camouflaged, camouflaged to the uh, normal human eye. So get yourself a plan. Please get a plan. And go over it and be ready to do whatever you need to do. And I'd say that uh, that's a very important thing you need to, to do. Ask yourself that question now. Don't let your mind race with what am I going to do. You know, if, you're, if you don't have anywhere to go, if you're in the city, it, you know, it's either going to be you're going to be killed or you need to go along with them. My advice to everyone is get out of the city and get into the country if you can. I know it's not possible for everyone, but do it, do it if you can. If you've got a credit card and you can put money on, do it. It's worth it. Anyway, I hope all's well. This is Chatty Dad One from News and News Media. Hope everybody's having a great day. Over and out.